Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie MA Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a woman's pineapple and v-stitch cape. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you to you all and thank you to my new subscribers. I am so appreciative of you. This, we're going to use a red heart category for yarn in gray you can use whatever color you want a five millimeter hook and some stitch markers i think we'll use up to three but we might not so let's just see so the way that we start is you're going to measure around yourself if you have a measuring tape or you can just use your yarn and go ahead and measure in front of yourself wrap it because it is a cape you want to make sure that it comes over your shoulders and around to the front so i am going to chain 146 chains that's pretty much for a medium i'm a medium size anything larger you want to go up in skeins i'm going to be using two skeins for this project um, you if you're a larger size you're gonna have to go up to maybe a few more skeins so now I'm gonna chain 146 chains and if you don't know how to make a chain I do have a tutorial on how to make the basic stitches including a chain and you can check that out so now I have 145 I'm sorry 146 chains and we're going to begin with making our single crochets in the back loop. So when you make a chain, you have two stitches, well, they're loops or pieces of yarn in the front. And then you also have it was two loops, you can call them loops. And you also have a loop in the back right here. So um, to go into that back loop, you want to skip that first chain because we're this is our turning chain and you want to go into that back loop into the back so if you don't want to do that you can go ahead and just make a normal row of single crochets and okay so i am back now i'm going to show you how to make what's called a double crochet stack and basically what it is is it's two single crochets on top of each other making a double crochet so go into your stitch and make a single crochet and then go into the back loop so when you make a single crochet you have two loops one in the front and one in the back you're going to put your crochet hook into that back stitch the first time is a little bit you know it's a little rough but you can give as you go along it'll get better and then make your single crochet and now you have your double crochet stack so this prevents you from making that ugly chain on the side and it makes it nice a much neater and straight so now we're going to continue on and i'm going to begin with a row of double crochets row of double crochets here 145 and I have a stitch marker right in the middle of that. Um, half of 145 is 72.5. So I went and I put my stitch marker in that 73rd place, which is the 0.5 area. And then on your left and right side, you should have 72 double crochets. So now we're going to go ahead and make another double crochet stack. We are now on row three. Put that loop in the back and make a single crochet now continue on now this single this double crochet that we just made counts as a double crochet so now we're going to make five more double crochet so now we're going into our pattern so your first stitches are six double crochets And once you've made your six double crochets, you want to skip a stitch, skip that next stitch, and then go into your next stitch with a V stitch. And a V stitch is a double crochet. Chain one, 
chain two and another double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, now we're going to skip another stitch and in the next stitch make another six double crochets. So that is your pattern. It is in the beginning you start with the six double crochets including that double crochet stack that you made that counts as a double crochet. You're going to skip one stitch, make your V-stitch which is a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the same stitch and then skip another stitch and make another six double crochets. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row, not at the end of the row, but we're a few stitches before that stitch marker. So we're going to skip these three stitches. So go ahead and chain three and then go right into your stitch marker where that stitch marker is with a V stitch. So now just keep repeating your process. Make your V stitch here. And then when you get to your stitch marker and you make your stitch, make sure that you move your stitch marker up and then continue on. So now skip another stitch. I'm sorry, make th skip three stitches and then make three chains. So make your three chains first and then skip three chains again, just like you did on the right side. And in that fourth stitch, make your V stitch. I mean, make your six double crochets across. Get to your double crochet stack you just put your hook right into the top of that double crochet and i'm sorry the top of the single crochet from your double crochet stack and there it is so now there's your double crochet in there so now again we don't chain but this is what that looks like i'm going to continue making more rows i'm going to make five more rows to have a total of six rows of the pattern and the total rows including that single crochet row and that double crochet row will bring it up to eight okay so now i have my additional rows so now i have a total of eight rows of uh, six of my pattern and one single crochet row and one double crochet row and i also moved my stitch marker up as i went along this is now row eight so now we're going to continue on to the next row go ahead and turn your work i'm just now counting the rows here just to make sure it is what i have and i have eight rows so now go ahead and turn your work and let's make that double crochet stack again and continue on. Now we're going to continue on with our pattern until we get to that stitch marker. So of course make your six double crochets across and follow your pattern and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm at that middle portion where that stitch marker was and I've removed my stitch marker. Now I'm going to make this last double crochet here, which is my sixth, sixth double crochet. Now we're just going to chain one, two, three, and then go into that stitch, into that V stitch with seven double crochets. This is the first row of your uh, pineapple stitch. I just sped up a little bit so we can get through it a little faster. And then once you've made your seven double crochets, you're going to chain three again. Chain three. And then go right into your next stitch with a double crochet and you're just going to follow your pattern along make your six double crochets your v stitch six double crochets don't forget to skip your stitches as you go along and i will be back uh i'll meet you at the end sorry i'm going to meet you at the middle so now we're going to continue working with that um 
pineapple stitch so chain one and go into your first stitch with a single crochet Once you make your single crochet, go ahead and chain three. And then go into your next stitch with another single crochet. And chain three again. And so you're going to do this for all seven of those double crochets that you made in the previous row. So that's a single crochet and then chain three. So again, everything that you do on your right side, you will do on the left side. So once we've done our single crochet and chain three, we will make another chain three. Um, I'm sorry, chain one and make our way across. So I'm almost at the end here. I'm making another single crochet and chaining three. And you can skip this part if you want to. I'm almost there. This is my last single crochet. So now with your last single crochet, you're only going to chain one because that's what we did on the other side. So just chain one and then go right into your pattern again. We're going to go into the loops of in the middle of those chain threes. So chain one and you're going to bypass that that section there and then put your hook into that loop into the three chain that you made in the previous loop make a single crochet and then chain three again and you're going to do that for all of those loops and as you go back and forth through your rows and you come back to that pineapple stitch those you'll have less and less of those loops to go into so go into your next loop with the single crochet and chain three. So I'm going to continue with my pattern, make your six double crochets and then your V stitch. And then when you get to the end, make your double crochet stack. I mean, turn your work, make your double crochet stack and then go ahead and repeat your pattern till you get back to your pineapple stitch and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're back at that pineapple stitch, and now we're just going to repeat again. We're going to chain one, and then go right into that stitch again with your three, with your single crochet and your chain threes. And we're back at that pineapple stitch. This time, you're going to go ahead and chain two, go into that stitch again, that loop, three chain loop. And make your single crochet and chain three do the same one into the next one and chain three all right so we are getting there now we're going to um, I think I did another chain two one okay so we did one chain one in the first row chain one in the second one chain one in the third row and then two chains Okay, so it's just chain one and then go into that um, loop again with a single crochet and a chain three and another one into the next one, single crochet. But now you're just going to chain one just like we did on the other side. So now immediately go right into your pattern again with your double crochets and V stitches and I will be back. I will meet you at the pineapple stitch again. Okay, so we're finally at the row where we will make our last, we're going to uh, finish off this pineapple stitch. So now we're just going to go directly into that stitch. No need to chain. And we're going to make three double crochets into that stitch there. And this is the last um, stitch for your pineapple stitch. This is the last row for that. And then go ahead and make your pattern again. Repeat your pattern. Make your six double crochets. Skip one. Make your V-stitch. And just make your pattern continue going across. And then I'm going to meet you right back at that pineapple. 
So before we continue, I want to show you what that V stitch looked like. And this is why we make those single crochets and the, I'm not I'm sorry, the one chain and the two chain so that we can give it a nice shape as we go along. And this is the bottom portion of that pineapple stitch. So I'll be back so we can continue. Okay, so now we're going to continue. As you can see, you have your three double crochets up at the top. We're just going to go straight through those double crochets because we finished off our pineapple stitch. So now just make some single crochets going all the way across. You do not have to chain. We're still working our pattern. Just in this area, we're going to make some single crochet, I mean, double crochets. And now just go straight into the rest and I'll be back. So now we have this other side and what we're going to do is we're going to count panels over. So I'm going to count six panels over. And once I get to my sixth panel in that next V stitch, I'm going to place a stitch marker here. And the reason we're doing that is because we're adding more pineapples and we want to know where we're going to start our first pineapple. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can continue following your pattern and just make it as long as you want. So now here is our pineapple stitch. Now we're going to go to the other end and count out six more panels again. One, one, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. And right after that six, go ahead and put your stitch marker into that V stitch up at the top. And again, this is for our second pineapple. So we want to add a V stitch there. I mean, a stitch marker there so that we know this is where our pineapple stitch is going to go. And remember, you don't have to use these type of stitch markers. You can use a piece of yarn or a, um, paper clip, whatever is comfortable for you. So now we have our stitch markers into that space and I'm going to start making my pattern until I get to that space. So we're now at that space and in this space, I'm going to make seven double crochets just like we did before with our first pineapple. We're going to make seven double crochets into that space. I am going to speed up so we can get through this really quickly. Okay, so now we're coming to our six double crochets again. You want to, as always, skip that next stitch and then go into your stitches with your six double crochets again. And you're just repeating your pattern again and make your way all the way to the end six double crochets skip one six double cro double crochets v stitch skip one six double crochets and just repeat and i will be back we are still on row 17 and we're at the next pineapple the one on the left again we're going to go in with seven double crochets and i'm going to speed up so we can get through it Okay, so we've made our seven double crochets. And again, skip that next stitch. And go ahead and make your six double crochets. And follow your pattern along. And I'll meet you back at the first um, pineapple stitch. Cause and this one here is the one that's on the right. So now you're going to chain one. And... Skip that next stitch and go right into the next one with a single crochet and chain three. And again, just repeat that same as before, single crochet and chain three. So if you feel like you have your pattern and what we have going on with this pineapple stitch here, you can go ahead and skip forward to where I make the tie for this cape. 
um for my beginners or people who just want to continue watching just continue watching <laughs> and i will be back okay so now i'm back i am back at the first pineapple stitch of this next row so again i'm just gonna do i'm gonna switch it up a little bit and we're gonna do something different so i've made my v stitch and now i'm just going to double crochet only three times and then i'm going to chain one chain two sorry and skip two stitches and then just go right into that next stitch with a single crochet and a chain three. So keep doing this all the way across. And we're just going to go back and forth. And I'm going to keep going back and forth with these pineapple stitches and our V stitches and our double crochets until I get to where I want to be. Um, if you need to go back to the first um, pineapple stitch, you can do that to see how I did the rest of the rows. But it's just continue, uh, excuse me, continue following your rows along. And I will be back when I have both of these V stitches done, and I have the three double crochets to finish off. Pineapple stitches done. Okay, so I am at the second pineapple stitch. I went ahead and did my three double crochets and now just double crochet across. This is what your pineapple stitch should look like. If you've gotten lost, you can go ahead and go back and start over from when we started the two double crochet, the two pineapple stitches. So I finished off my row and now I've turned my work and I'm at the row where I'm just going to make some double crochets going across. So basically when you get to your, um, you're going to do your V stitches and then do your double crochets going all the way across. You will not skip when you're doing these stitches because these are the final rows of your wrap unless you want to make it longer. If you want to make it longer, you can do that. You can just continue making your double crochets and your V stitches. So I'm going to make another row and just some plain double crochets and two more rows and I'll be back. So here I have an additional three rows. So I did two more rows of the double crochets with the V-stitch. And then I did just plain double crochets going all the way across, including that V-stitch. So when I got to the V-stitch, um, in your first double crochet for the V-stitch from the previous row, you put a double crochet. And then in the middle of that V-stitch, you put another double crochet and then in the next V stitch double crochet you put another double crochet in the top so this is what you're getting here I'm showing you that there's the three double crochets that I made for the pineapple stitch and the additional three rows so now if you want to you can continue going on and adding V stitches or you can just continue with just plain double crochets going all the way across so now the next thing we're going to work on is the strap that goes around the adjustable strap okay so now i'm going to show you how to make this strap um, without having to make a really long chain so the first thing you want to do is you want to make your chain from the tail you want to make it as long as you would like for it to go around your neck how long for it to be so you can have a bow as well so you're going to measure that out I'm, you don't have to measure it out but we're just going to make some double crochets so i'm going to make this um a different way to make these single crochets i didn't mean double single crochets without having to chain so i'm going to stretch my yarn for as long as i need for it to be to make my long strap you can measure yourself if you want to that's up to you now I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot. I want to show you something. This piece of yarn right here is your... Let me just get this knot in here. 
So this string here that I have in my hand is the tail. That's the uh, the one that I'm wrapping around my finger is the one that comes from your skein, from your ball of yarn. And the one on the bottom is your tail. So now you're going to take the tail and wrap it and let it go behind the hook. Not the piece of yarn, not your lead yarn from your skein, but right behind the hook. It takes a minute to get used to gripping that first one and then yarn over and make a single crochet. So let's do that again. Yarn, uh, uh, yarn over your hook behind, wrap your hook behind the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and you have your single crochet. So you're going to make this as long as you need for it to be. Make sure that that tail is long enough so that you can make your single crochets. And I do have a, a reel, a short, on how to make this stitch here. It's a lot slower. Um, so that you can get the full effect of how to do that. Okay, so now we're at the point where we want to put that strap on. And we're just going to weave in and out. So my project is on facing me on the wrong side. So I put that first part through the back side, going out the front. And then I skipped two double crochets. Looks like that's the back front and this is the back with your pineapple stitches. And if you want to, you can change where you put your pineapple stitches. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tying Handmade Creations. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel.